Uh, Assalamu alaikum. In the last lecture, we talked about design of PI controller. PI controller is utilized to improve uh, steady state error. In today's lecture, we shall talk about another compensator which is called lag compensator. Lag compensator is also utilized to improve uh, the steady state error. Uh, while we discuss a PI controller, PI controller improves the type of the system and therefore can completely eliminate the steady state error. This compensator cannot completely remove the steady state error. It can only reduce or minimize the steady state error. Then now the question is if we have a better controller then why we are going to study this uh, controller? The answer is to implement PI controller which was discussed in the last lecture we need to have active element that is uh, you know the transfer function of PI controller was given by this expression uh, this uh, transfer function can be implemented by for example operational amplifiers uh, this uh, arrangement can be utilized uh, for example uh, we have uh, this uh, electronic circuitry and the transfer function of uh, this uh, electronic system, the transfer function between input and output, you can easily derive it. It comes out to be equal to this one by appropriately selecting the values of R2, C2 and uh, R4, R3, you can obtain this transfer function. So you see that to implement this controller, you need active elements. Uh, uh, the controller that we are going to study in today's lecture that does not need active element and therefore it is more convenient to implement in some cases. So the transfer function of a lag compensator uh, is given by uh, GC of S is equal to KC S plus ZC over S plus PC. That is it has uh, a zero and a pole. So how it can be utilized uh, to uh, improve the steady state error. Let's uh, consider our system. Uh, so consider this system with, uh, for example, this uh, transfer function of the plant uh, type uh, 0 system. Let's consider. So uh, for this particular system, which is type 0 system, the steady state error will be given by E infinity is equal to 1 over 1 plus Kp for a step input. We are Kp for this particular system is equal to if we substitute limit as tends to zero uh, by that uh, relation we have k z1 z2 up to zm over uh, p1 p2 up to pn. If we cascade this compensator to the system then we have uh, this situation for the system with uh, this compensator GC of S, the value of KP, uh, let's uh, differentiate it with the subscript O, old value of KP and KPN, new value of KP, that will be equal to, uh, again by using uh, this relation limit S tends to 0, K GC of S into G of S this comes out to be equal to that is by augmenting this compensator uh, the value of KP position error constant is improved this is uh, the old value of KP if you select uh, this ratio ZC over ZC over PC if this ratio is selected larger then uh, the value of KP will be increased. Value of KP increased means steady state error will be decreased. Uh, what will be the effect of adding this compensator on the transient characteristics? So if we add a compensator then uh, there will be an angle contribution due to zero and angle contribution due to pole. So this will distort the root locus and hence the transient characteristics will also be disturbed. But if we do not, if we do not want to change the transient characteristics, uh, we, will, uh, we will wish that there is no angle contribution due to this 
compensator. So how we can achieve this thing? That is, we want uh, no angle contribution by this compensator. There will be no angle contribution if the angle contribution due to zero and angle contribution due to pole is approximately the same. That is, if zero is close to this pole. Uh, so our requirement uh, for uh, no distortion in the transient characteristics is that pole and zero this should be close to each other if we do not want to disturb the transient characteristics and if we want to improve uh, the steady state error you remember that this ratio zc over pc should be large larger is this ratio there will be more improvement in the value of kt and hence uh, more improvement uh, or reduction in the uh, steady state error so how we can achieve the two things that is close to each other pole and zero and this ratio large this can be achieved if we select small values of this one for example pc if we select pc equal to 0.1 and uh, zc equal to uh, point uh, uh, if we select it to equal to point, uh, 0 0.01 and this to be equal to 0 0.1 these two numerical values are close to each other and their ratio is large this ratio comes out to be equal to 10 however compared to this if we for example select uh, this thing uh, this one and uh, uh, 10 and 1 again the ratio is 10 however these poles and zeros are not close to each other uh, this is value of uh, PC and this is value of ZC so uh, these are not close to each other therefore uh, this will have more distortion on the transient characteristics improvement on the steady state error provided by this selection is the same as uh, improvement provided by this selection however this will have more effect on the transient characteristics because pole and zero are not close to each other this will have less distortion on the transient characteristics improvement in the steady state error will be the same compared to that if for example we have uh, this uh, uh, selection of zc and this selection of pc again the ratio zc over pc this is zc over pc is the same however these poles and zeros are very very close to each other and there will be much less distortion on the transient characteristics so the conclusion is uh, we can uh, select this ratio zc over pc uh, as uh, the uh, ratio equal to the uh, required improvement in the steady state errors kc is generally uh, taken to be equal to 1 and then these values should be taken small so that there is no distortion on the uh, transient characteristics let's uh, elaborate this with the help of one example uh, we want to improve the steady state error by a factor of 10 by improving steady state error we mean we want to decrease the steady state error by a factor of 10 for that purpose we need to uh, determine the compensator gc of s uh, lag compensator given by this transfer function so let's uh, see what is the steady state error uh, for the actual system here k is uh, 164 it is the same example that we discussed in the last lecture so let's first determine the steady state error for the actual system so steady state error uh, for the step input is given by 1 over 1 plus kp and kp uh, is uh, kp uh, the old value the actual value uh, is limit s tends to 0 uh, k g of s which is 164 divided by 1 2 and 10 which comes out to be equal to 8.23 and uh, then uh, corresponding to this the steady state error 
comes out to be by substituting this value old value of kp this comes out to be equal to 0 0.108 we want to decrease the steady state error by a factor of 10 that is our desired steady state error should be equal to uh, uh, 0 0.108 divided by 10 and then from here we can compute the value of kp nu which comes out to be equal to uh, kpn 91.59 Then uh, you know that uh, this improvement in this, uh, uh, how much improvement do we get? Improvement, that is this ratio, which is the improvement in the value of Kp, uh, that should be equal to this uh, improvement. New value of Kpn and old value of Kp, 8, 1, 2, 3. So this ratio, this ratio, uh, which comes out to be equal to, nearly equal to 11.13. So this ratio uh, should be 11.13 if we want 10% improvement, uh, sorry, improvement in e, e infinity by a factor of 10, then this ratio should be 11.13. Uh, this ratio can be, uh, one of them can be arbitrarily selected and the other one will be determined. So there are infinitely many choices. For example, uh, we can have uh, uh, if you for example select uh, PC uh, the pole at 0 0.01 then Zc from here will come out to be equal to 0 0.111. This is one choice and this is not the only choice. For example, you could have also chosen this uh, value Zc PC at 0 0.001 and then that will give you Zc equal to 0 0.11. So, which compensator is uh, better? So, as far as improvement in steady state error is concerned, both the compensator, this one and this choice, will uh, have the same improvement in the steady state error because this ratio is the same. As far as transient characteristics is concerned, uh, this cons uh, for this compensator, pole and zero, they are uh, close to each other, but this one, for this particular choice, they are still more close. There is another effect that we also talked about in the case of a PI controller. Uh, this will have less distortion on the uh, transient characteristics, but, but there will be a long tail uh, in the response of the system. So to summarize, as far as transient characteristics are concerned, this will have less distortion on it. This will have more distortion on it. Steady state improvement, both of them will give the same steady state improvement. Uh, there will be a tail effect over here and that effect will be less significant in this case. This controller will have to be implemented, both of them will have to be implemented by using some uh, uh, passive elements, resistor capacitor com combination and this may also result sometimes into values, numerical values of resistor and capacitor that may be practically realizable. So let's compare both the controllers with the help of MATLAB simulations.